Howdy. We are two boys. We have one brain cell. My name is Chuckles. I'm Joel. <laughs> he was trying to come up with something. No. <laughs> In I was realizing where the where direction I was going. I'm like, this is not good. I don't want this nickname. Why am I doing this? <laughs> and today we are reacting to my congressman by 15. Shout out to Ashley for the pick. Bam. I mean, I think this is the only thing from 15 we've checked out so far. Let's and I'm check. feeling yes. lucky. You're feeling lucky? Yeah. Should, I, should we send it? Yeah. Is that why you're feeling lucky? Why are you yeah. feeling lucky? Album title. I call Spencer's. I can't give my brother wrong. Clean syringe. He should get AIDS and die. It's just too bad. My senator says I can't give my sister wrong. Clean syringe. She should get hepatitis and die. It's just too bad. The president says I can't give my brother wrong. Clean syringe. He should get hepatitis and die. Just too bad. The police man says I can't give my sister raw. Clean the wrench. She should get AIDS and die. It's just too bad. I can't supervise all like to think so much wiser than all the doctors put together. They say we can give away clean the wrenches. My city council then says it's not a problem. We're only going to spend millions on treatment that won't work for people who will die. My community is like to claim immunity of the patients of homophobia and a lack of medical facts. Hey, America, the people you can sleep with your children, with your daughters, with your sons, with your husband. We got a law that you can't own a needle without a prescription. Did you really think, did you really, really think that I kept anyone from shooting up? All the politicians say can't legalize exchange because that would be sending the wrong message. Did you ever notice? On every billboard, in every magazine, in every corner store, on every TV screen, let's just buy TV with an alcohol. And don't you know drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, you can't stop it. Good life to make a profitable insurance one company. Drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, you can't stop it. It's not a law enforcement issue, addiction does it. Find yourself in the position of having to share a needle with another person. Please take the following steps to ensure that you don't get infected. Suck water up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. Suck water up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. Suck water up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. That's step one. Suck bleach up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. Suck bleach up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. Suck bleach up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. That's step two. Suck water up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. Suck water up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. Suck water up to the top of the needle. And squirt it out. That's step three. We're done. We got a law. Says you can't own a needle. Without a prescription. Did you really think, did you really, really think that kept anyone from shooting up? All the politicians say, can't legalize this case because that would be sending the wrong message. Did you ever notice? On every billboard, in every magazine, in every corner store, on every TV screen, the message is like, you listen out the hall. They don't you know, drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, you can't stop it. Put the line to make a profit of a hole in the store, it's one day. Drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, drugs are everywhere, you can't stop it. It's not a law enforcement issue, addiction is not a city. I can't give my brother raw clean syringe if he should get AIDS and die. It's just too bad. My consequences. I can't give my brother raw clean syringe if he should get AIDS and die. It's just too bad. My congressman says I can't give my brother raw clean syringe if he should get AIDS and die. It's just too bad. My congressman says I can't give my Clean so rich if he should get 
The punk spirit is strong with this one. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm. Um, and it's got a nice rhythm to it. My only issue I have with this whole song. Yep. Well, actually, there's two, but okay. the big one. Yeah. The quality of the snare was really bad for me. It was like the same little, listen, like. And you know what I mean? It's just the same noise over and over and just not. You know, there's this thing. I like that in this case. Really? I think it really fit with the style. And that's. I okay. Mean, yeah, no. Yeah. Wow. I like the opposing yeah. view there. Um, the second one was, I just felt like they said the squirt the bleach out of the needle or the water in the needle thing a little bit. Yeah. They went a little too hard there on that little aspect. So a little repetitive there that it was now getting those out of the way. I really enjoyed his vocals a lot, which I believe was my issue with one of the other, if that's, this is Jeff odd, if I'm remembering correctly, okay. but I didn't, I was struggling with the vocals, but really loved the vocals here. Felt like instrumentally, like guitar, everything else was really, really well done. Lyrically well done. Really just kind of picking on the uh, idiocies of government. Really just finding, you know, what all they really did here was they found a topic and just drilled it in. Like there was no, they didn't go in depth with the lyrics or nothing like that. It was just, hey, here's what it is and I'm going to drive it home. Yeah. And now mind you. Make the point. At the beginning, we did see a difference in congressman, president, yes, senator, policeman, all that stuff. Because of the laws. Right. Yeah. But they really just drove that. Well, if something should happen and they die, well, oh well. Which is a pretty fair statement. That's pretty much the, what the we way see. it acts. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, like the way you, people don't act like there's an uh, is it epidemic. Is that right? Yeah. Is it epidemic? Uh, epidemic? Yeah, I think so. My, my, it's been a long day, guys. Yes. Is it? I believe it's epidemic. It's definitely not it's pandemic. Not. It's epidemic. I believe I it's epidemic. I think you're right. Yeah. Um, but we we have a giant op- opioid epidemic in our country, 100%. especially. And um, that the point that they made right here actually statistics show that that is. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't say this is, but the clean syringe thing is actually helpful. It saves lives. Yeah. Yeah. Over. Because a lot of people die from like, the, he just said hepatitis or, you know, the sharing. Sharing a syringe sharing a with syringe. somebody who's, yep. who's got, like, I think they said A's in here, right? A lot. So, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, it, it, you know, passes it around. So, it's more dangerous. So, they don't have the opportunity to get clean because of the addiction. Right. I believe it's the idea there, right? Yeah, I'm far from an expert. Obviously, I have no clue. I, but I just heard a couple st- uh, studies saying that like countries that have done this, like giving away free needles, like actually it helps them with that issue. Because you're instead of because if let's be real, if you're on drugs, yeah, and then you wind up with AIDS because of the drugs, you you don't want to like you're not coming back at a certain likely, point. You're yeah. just like, why, why stop? Yeah, because the worst has already happened. Yeah. Yep. Um. And that's super unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, addiction doesn't really give a shit about your feelings. No, it does not. Or what you'd like to do. Nope. Especially with opioids. So bad. So They're bad. so bad, dude. Um, And uh, I did like the point, you know, with the cigarettes and alcohol. <laughs> shit, add caffeine to that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, like... It's everywhere. Yeah. They advertise. It, it's like the well, big thing is they take, hey, we can use this drug to make a big, huge profit. Yeah. It's legal. Mm-hmm. It's still going to kill you, but it's legal. Yeah. We're going to make this one illegal because we can't figure out a way to make this profitable fully, which they still make profit on the opioids. 
Yeah. Fully. Um, but they're like, we can't, this isn't sustainable because we don't want to just, hey, we're going to sell you all these drugs that are going to kill you over time. Yeah. Even more. So then they make it illegal and then you're still going to do it. <laughs> if you, if you're chasing a fix, it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So I uh, did a really good job making the point. Yeah. Um. I really don't have any issues. Like I said, I like the lyrics. I like the vocals. The only issue I had was that snare drum. And um, that's just a personal uh, issue I have that yeah. we found recently. Yeah. It's like just for some reason, poor quality drums just that kill snare my... That just jumps out to you, too. Yeah. In a big way. It does, yeah. But I don't think it's going to affect the rating as a whole too much. Yeah. Because typically I found... And there's only been a few songs where I was like, I'm going to give this a shot still, even though that's, it just didn't have great quality. And it just kind of, in headphones, it just doesn't sound quite the same as these. Right. So sometimes you're able to hide that quality of that one instrument that's bothering you. You just miss it. Um, yeah. So hopefully that happens here. Um, where are you going to go rating-wise? Um, this one I'm going to go with a 6.3, and I'm going to put it in the playlist. <laughs> I still end up higher than you. <laughs> 6.8 yep. playlist. Um, the the repetition from it at a certain point, and I like I said, I totally understand it, driving the point home, but at a certain point, it's just uh, I, okay, okay. <laughs> you get it, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Um, thank you, Ashley. That was a good yeah, one. Absolutely. That uh, I don't know why, but I didn't expect it to be so um, punk rock sounding going into it. <laughs> I me neither. I I don't know. It just the picture of the cover here, and the i don't know i guess the name definitely fits you know something pop, punk rockish yeah i don't know why i get reggae vibes from this cover i do too buddy i don't know why though um Re- I, reggae ska yeah ska. more re- more, more reggae, reggae yeah, yeah 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 more reggae for me at least east coast reggae <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I will never try to break it down that far, guys. I, <laughs> well, he, someone who's really into reggae in yeah. Ohio. Oh, okay. All or, right. you know, out west. They have a different look about them. All right. Typically. Fair enough. You know, they we, we dress differently because we're from the east. Yeah. That's, that's true. That, that's, you know, that, that's true. There's a little more rock influence, I think, in, in east coast reggae. Like your bumping uglies, tropadelic is a little more hip-hop, but that Fair kind of enough. stuff. I guess I never even thought about all that yeah. stuff. So. Do, do, do. <laughs> but, but we are two boys. We have one brain cell. My name is Chuckles. And I'm Joel. Smash that like button for us. And hit that subscribe if you want to join our community. And vote for that brain cell in the comments below. Peace out, y'all. Peace.